A couple get stung by a huge renovation bill when they discover more than half a million bees in their walls. Jeremy Roth has more in today's Take a Look at This. When a couple purchased this 1872 Pennsylvania farmhouse, they knew it needed work. What they didn't know is a colossal colony of bees hidden inside the home's walls would result in a complete gut job. The couple said they were aware there were bees in the home, but once expert Alan Latanzi started removing wall panels, he found nearly half a million bees, estimated to have been there some 35 years. Three colonies were safely relocated to Latanzi's bee farm, but the couple now face a stinging price tag of $12,000 for the removal and resulting reconstruction. Meanwhile, over in Virginia, state officials are making pleas for more bees. A government program is offering free equipment to residents willing to put beehives near their homes. Officials say Virginia has been losing 30% of its bee population yearly due to disease and pests, which stings because bees are crucial pollinators for both crops and trees. The program, which ends soon, aims to front the cost for aspiring amateur beekeepers to help with this pollinator population problem. And while it's not bee-related, folks in San Francisco are buzzing about the long-awaited return of these big yellow fellas. The city's historic cable cars are back in limited service after being suspended in 2020 due to the pandemic. Current cars are limited, but officials say they should be back in full service soon. But in the meantime, to celebrate the comeback, residents and visitors can enjoy a San Francisco treat. A month of rides free of charge. For Take a Look at This, I'm Jeremy Roth. We want to leave you with a smile tonight. A Connecticut couple signed up their daughter for piano lessons to keep her busy during the lockdown. A year later, their four-year-old is being called a piano prodigy. This is Bridget. She can play Beethoven's Sonata in F major and is set to perform at Carnegie Hall in the fall. Her parents signed up for group piano lessons via Zoom at three years old. Her teacher decided to offer her private lessons after noticing she took instructions especially well. Now, more than a year later, Bridget is the youngest winner of the prestigious Elite International Music Competition. Congratulations to you, Bridget. Look forward to seeing where your career takes you. That's all for us this evening. Thanks so much for joining us. Have a good night, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.